Okay, sis, sorry, I got on a tangent. Now I'm gonna try and tell you this story as quickly and concisely as possible. So yesterday, I had purchased some, um, I had purchased some flower seeds. Um, I already had some flower seeds. I had some zinnias, I had some cosmos, and I had some chamomile, and I also had some sunflowers. They're really, really mammoth, huge sunflower kind of seeds. But I knew I wanted to plant things that wouldn't take up quite that much space because as you can see, this really isn't a very large planter that I made. So when I went to the Lowe's, I had to get a part for our toilet that was broken. I had to get a replacement part for our toilet. So I went to Lowe's for that, but then I was like, let me see if I can go find another smaller variety of sunflower seeds. And, um, and I did. And I got this kind. Because you see it's the multi-head sunflowers. I just absolutely love sunflowers, sister. I can't even tell you um, how much I love sunflowers. I absolutely adore them. When I see them, um, they grow wild along the side of the road out here. Um, many times I'll have Mark pull over so I can take pictures of them when I see them growing along the side of the road. Um, anyway, I was so excited when I saw that they had these type of sunflower seeds because these are very similar to the kind that grow wild out here. It's the multi-head and they don't tend to get quite as tall. This one gets two feet tall. The mammoths one that I have, um, I already had bought seeds for, those ones can be like six or seven feet tall. They need about a good four feet of soil to push that tap root down into. They're big, they're literally mammoth, beautiful, but I just didn't have the space to put those kinds. So anyway, I got these for myself super excited uh, you know the flower the flower planter came together perfectly I've been watching a lot of flower and not flower a lot of gardening videos on YouTube and just stirring myself up to like you know what let's start planting let's start growing some more food let's learn about how to take advantage of the monsoon season here I just been you know stirring myself up towards this um, again I told you it goes along with your with your devotional that you shared this morning how uh, the Holy Spirit does that he's wonderful so anyway um, so I get home from from Lowe's and I get my boys uh, Caleb was at work because I dropped him off at work but I got Micah Daniel and Timothy to come outside with me and we were gonna plant some flowers you know we were gonna get it done all in one day we put together the planter we cleaned up the side yard we uh, filled up the planter with soil we were going to get these these seeds planted so they can start germinating as quickly as possible because really you only have a small window right to plant those so anyway uh <laughs> we we decided to do them largest in the middle second largest on the sides third largest on the sides of those and then the smallest which would be the chamomile on the very ends as far as how how high they'll grow so that the design of it will be like sort of this rounded, big in the center and smaller on the, on the outer edges type thing. That's how I pictured it in my mind. So we're doing that. We do the cosmos and then we do, I guess the sunflowers would have come next because the cosmos can go to about three feet in height and then the sunflowers two feet in height. The zinnia is like up to 18 inches in height. And then I think the chamomile like two, 12 inches in height so we get to opening the I was opening the seeds right so that we could start sowing the seeds in the soil and wouldn't you know it the sunflower seed packet was empty there were no seeds inside the sunflower packet I was like oh, oh, like oh, how in the world did I manage to buy empty an empty packet of seeds there was no seeds in this packet whatsoever so now I'm thinking I have to go back to Lowe's and they're gonna think I'm crazy they're gonna think I'm lying because the sunflowers seed packet is empty but you know then I'm like you know it costs more in gas to go back to Lowe's than it would for me to buy another 
packet of seats. So anyway, they were really nice. I had nothing to worry about. I got there, I exchanged the seats. And then I, um, oh, sorry, I missed a couple of details. I'm so bad at telling stories, I'm so sorry, and I hope that you have it on two times playback speed. Please do speed me up, or come back in and listen to me when you have time, if you don't have time right now. So, um, okay, I gotta back up. The first time I went to Lowe's, when I bought the empty packet of seeds, I met this gentleman, an older gentleman in his 70s, by the name of Ralph. And I, he's an employee at the store, and the reason I was talking to him is because I was looking for grow lights so that I can start plant starts inside my home because I don't really have much useful um, windowsill space in my house. And so I'm trying to figure out some alternative methods that I can start some seeds for some plants, for some you know, crops, fruits, vegetables, whatever. I can start them inside the house and then plant them when it's time. And um, so I was just kind of window shopping and I, I ended up talking with Ralph, found out he was a Christian, he recommended a church. This is now the third time somebody has recommended this church. So I think this is gonna be the next church that I visit. So praise the Lord for that. But he also told me that he had a, an upcoming shoulder surgery because as, as we started talking, we both realized we were Christians and everything. Then we were just kind of fellowshipping for a minute. And he said he had a shoulder issue and so I told him just in passing, well, I pray that, that the Lord, you know, I pray that your shoulder heals very quickly. But then we just continued on the conversation. Then I had to go find my toilet thing. Next thing you know, I'm back at the house trying to plant the seeds, finding out that the sunflower seeds packet was empty. So now I'm going back to Lowe's and I'm praying on my way back to Lowe's. I'm like, Lord, what is really going on here? Is there an assignment here? Am I supposed to go back and lay, am I supposed to go find Ralph? This is what I'm initially thinking. Am I supposed to go find Ralph and lay hands and pray on him? I mean, lay, lay hands on him and pray for him. Uh, so I walk into the customer service. They tell me go just find the seeds that I need. No problem, I can just exchange it. And then before I come back to the customer service desk, I do a quick walk through to see if I can find Ralph. Didn't find him, so I'm like, okay, I guess that's not it. Ah, doggone it, I missed another, I missed another detail. So when I was driving in, I saw this lady, she was standing on the side, she had a sign, and it said, need diapers, God bless, on her sign. Need diapers, God bless, on her little cardboard sign. She's standing out in the blazing hot, afternoon Arizona sun we did have a little bit of cloud cover but it was still really hot so I'm like oh I see that lady and I'm um, on my way back into the store to get to exchange the empty sunflower seed packet and to see if Ralph was in there didn't find Ralph so then I'm thinking okay maybe this is the lady that I need to minister to today this is the lady so I I swing around and I find and she's still out there and um, I, I get out of my car, I park my car, and I go to talk to the lady, and she does not speak English. She speaks French? It wasn't even Spanish, it was like French. Anyway, I'm trying to communicate with her. Obviously, she knows someone who speaks English because the sign was written in English, but we're having just a terrible time trying to communicate with each other. And so I'm like, what size of diapers? And I'm pointing at her sign where it says diapers. And I'm like, what size? What size? And finally, I think she just understood through me pointing at the word diapers. I kept saying diapers and, you know, what size? And she's, then she held up seven fingers. And I think she said seven in French, which I, I don't know. If she would have said it in Spanish, I think I would have been a little bit better. But, um, so... I said, well, let's go. Let's go buy your diapers. Come with me. And she didn't understand, and she probably felt a little uh, nervous or whatever. I said, I'll take you. We'll go to the Walmart right here, and we'll buy your diapers. So um, she's like, no English, no English. And she seemed a little bit like, uh, you know, feeling awkward and everything. So I'm like, oh, Lord, I don't know what to do. So I go, well, I have, fo I have th some items. I have to go to the Dollar Tree to do to return these items that I, I changed my mind. I don't need these items. I don't want these items. Maybe I can find her some diapers in the Dollar Tree. And maybe I can, 
you know, just do a quick little thing, go in, return my stuff, get her some diapers, whatever, come back and give them to her. Nope. The closest thing I could find in, the, in there was wipes. And the way they handle exchanges in there is you have, if you have 12 items to return, you have to leave those items with the cashier and then you have to go find 12 other items and they ring it up that way. It was the weirdest thing. I've like literally they ring up the new 12 items and then they use the old 12 to pay for the items rather than doing an exchange, cash back or store credit. It was very strange. I don't know. Maybe you've done that before so you know what I'm talking about, but it was weird. I've never experienced that. Anyway, that's not the point. So I found some wipes, mm -hmm. at least. I did not find any um, diapers, but I found wipes. So I was happy about that, but now I'm like, now I have to go to Walmart, and this is already taking way longer. She's not going to be there when I finally finish. So I'm like, oh, Lord, okay, should I go to Walmart? So I go to Walmart. I find some size seven loves diapers and I know this probably sounds a little bit corny it was a dollar more to get the loves diapers than the store brand diapers because diapers are stinking expensive and I got her a nice big box of them but I went with the loves because loves work good I remember the loves brand it works good it is a name brand but it's an it's a lower end it's a less less expensive than Huggies less expensive than Pampers but they work about as good and so I used to like love sometimes when I was a little bit tight in my diaper budget. So I grabbed her a thing of loves, plus it says loves. L well, it's not spelled right, but I just felt like that was more like almost like a message in and of itself, right? So I find a size seven loves, get, get that box. Then I'm finding other things that I need because I'm running out of time. I need to get food for my kids, something quick, because I'm gonna have to pretty soon turn around and go get Caleb again. And it takes me an hour round trip to get him because it's a half an hour both ways to go get him. So I'm like, all right, let me grab some frozen pizzas, which we don't do that much, but it was one of those kind of nights. So I grabbed some frozen pizzas. Then I'm like, oh wait, I need fabric softener. I need detergent. So I'm loading myself down. I don't even have a cart. <laughs> I finally get up to check myself out. I'm running out of time. I'm hurrying and everything. So then I, put all the stuff in my car. I put the things in bags that I'm gonna give her. I give her the wipes. Um, the diapers won't fit in a bag. And uh, I get a gospel tract and it has a picture of the cross. It has a picture and I'm thinking, her sign says God bless. I'll show her the cross. She'll understand through the picture. This is not about me. This is from God, right? And perhaps the person who wrote her sign in English for her can help her understand this. It, they'll read her the tract. I think maybe or it, it'll reach somebody else maybe so I go around to the spot where she was standing and wouldn't you know it she wasn't there and I'm like oh my gosh I just went through all of this so I'm like I have an idea sometimes I see panhandlers and homeless people um, in different locations I've, I've done my errands, you know, I'll go here and I'll, I'll go over to this store, then I'll go over to that store. And I've seen them in more than one place and recognized them. So I'm like, let me go check on the other side of, of, of the road and the other strip mall on the other side of the road and see if I can find her over there because I also have a return that I have to do at Fry's. So I'm going to go do that return now. So this is now the third return I'm making. So you can just imagine how long this is taking. And then I didn't find her over there. At first I saw, I thought I saw her, it wasn't her. Um, and then I'm like, let me just try one more time. I'm gonna go back and I'm praying and I'm like, Lord, please help me find the lady with the sign that said you need diapers and everything. Please help me find her. Otherwise I'm gonna have to make a fourth return. I'm gonna have to go to Walmart and return these stinking diapers because I have no use for them. And I don't know anybody that needs size seven baby diapers. That's pretty specific. So wouldn't you know it, I circle back across the street all the way up through this, you know, winding through the parking lot, way to the end where the Lowe's is located, and she's back at that spot again. So I'm praising the Lord. She's back at that spot. I, uh, I'm able to, you know, park and then get out the items and give them to her. And she's trying to thank me. She's, she's so happy. Somebody had gave her a box of Huggies, but they were the wrong size. 
And she said, she pointed at the size three on the box with the Huggies. And she says, no, okay, no, okay. Uh, and then she pointed at the size seven on the box. She's okay, okay, thank you so much, right? She's trying to communicate with me that it was the right size. So I was like, praise the Lord, at least I got that communication clear. And then I said, don't thank me, no thanking, not me. And then I pointed to the cross. I showed her my little, um, my little gospel tract in the bag for her. And I pointed at the cross. I said, thank him. I said, thank him. I said, God loves you. And she said, oh, thank you, thank you so much. And she kind of gave me like a little hug. And um, I cried, I was so happy. I was like, thank you, Lord, that that wasn't all in vain because I tell you what, it took so long. It took so long. And then on my way, I'm crying and I'm talking to the Lord as I'm praying and I'm driving back to my, my home. And I get back and I tell the boys, I said, you know why it took me so long? And I told them the whole story. And it all goes back to sowing seeds. Sister, it all goes back to sowing seeds. And you never really know what your seed sowing, your seed sowing of the gospel. You never really know how that's going to impact or who's going to get that seed or when, what seed, when that good seed it's going to land in some good soil and it's going to produce fruit and maybe it was more than just the diapers maybe she needs the gospel or maybe someone else she knows needs the gospel maybe the person who's going to read i'm i'm imagining i mean this is just my imagination i don't know if this is how it's going to work but somebody's going to know english that's going to see that gospel track and look at that look at what god went through to <laughs> to get that to them, to get them those seeds of the gospel. I just wanted to share this with you. Oh, and when I, I, I asked the boys too, I was like, boys, what do you think? I said, do you think this was God's plan all along? You know, for me to build this planter today and, and then to find out that my favorite flowers, the sunflowers, it was an empty bag of seeds. So I want to call this the, the miracle of the empty sunflower seeds bag or packet because I feel like it was a little miracle the way God worked it all together and I was so frantic and so frustrated and after all of that time that it took me to do all of going through those different stores and the different returns and everything she got she got it she got God helped me find her again God helped me track her down again and give her the thing that she really needed which I think this demonstrates so much. It's, it shows you God cares about the little things. He cares about the little needs that we have. And please, sister, I'm not trying to boast to tell you about, oh, look at this good thing I did. That's not, that's not what this is about at all. It's about planting seeds. It's about planting seeds. So I hope that you understand. I know I'm not good at telling stories because I have a hard time keeping the stories, the details of the stories straight. But so many of these little everyday miracles happen right under our noses. And we have to be paying attention and we have to have the faith of a child. And we have to trust God that he wants to do something beautiful. A simple little miracle through the faith of a child to get somebody, uh, to, for us to be someone's, for us to, to be Jesus' hands and feet and to reach somebody with the gospel and to reach somebody with a little love and with a little care packet, right? That's just, that's why I had to share this with you. I hope that you are ministered to by this. Thank you for sharing that message with me this morning. And to a beautiful day, to God's grace, to his blessings, his mercy, his kindness, his goodness, his faithfulness. His loving thoughtfulness towards us. His caring for us. For his caring for the least of these. And, and he gives us opportunities to do these things. You know, these good works that he's foreordained for us to do. And I, you know, I was having kind of, before this all happened, I was having kind of a rough morning yesterday too. And not really feeling super spiritual. Not feeling, you know, feeling kind of like, ugh, Right? And then all this happened. It's not because of me, sister. It's because of God. God is so good that he would use someone like me. 
that he would use someone like you, that he would use any of us, God. God is so good. We are flawed. We are broken. And he loves using us just with a simple faith. You know, he can do a lot. So I want to encourage you. And I love you, sister. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Um, God bless you. Mwah. Bye. Thank you.